new developments in the widely watched case featured in the Netflix series Making a Murderer. Brendan Dassey, who was serving a life sentence, was hoping to be free, but a federal appeals court dashing those hopes. ABC's Kenneth Moten joins us with more on what the net next step could be. Hey, Kenneth. Good morning, Tom and Paula. Brendan Dassey won two court battles before this new ruling, which could keep him in prison for the rest of his life. That federal appeals court finding he was not intimidated or coerced into confessing to rape and murder. This morning, the court ruling that could have led to freedom for Brendan Dassey. What could you hear? Screaming. One of the Wisconsin men at the center of the popular Netflix series, Making a Murderer. I am innocent of the rape and murder of Teresa Halbach. Instead, a federal appeals court narrowly decided to uphold his conviction, keeping him in prison. Dassey, sentenced to life in 2007, found guilty of helping his uncle Stephen Avery rape and kill photographer Teresa Halbach. We know you were involved in this. There's no question about that. The 2015 docuseries raising questions about the case. Last year, a federal judge overturned Dassey's conviction ruling that detectives coerced the 16-year-old with learning disabilities into confessing. Be honest. You went inside, didn't you? Yeah. You went in the trailer? Mm -hmm. Friday, judges in the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals sharply divided, voted four to three that the confession was not coerced. Judge Alana Diamond Rovner disagreed, calling the decision a profound miscarriage of justice. I was shocked by the ruling by the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals. We all watched his confession on making of a murderer. He seemed to be completely out of it and uh, unaware of what was happening. Dassey's attorneys are now planning to fight on to the Supreme Court, saying in a statement, we intend to continue pursuing relief for Brendan. The chances of this case being accepted by the Supreme Court are not that great, but that's his only option at this point. The chief judge for the Seventh Circuit also disagreed with the ruling, calling the confession involuntary and highly unreliable. She says the case against Dassey wouldn't even exist without that confession. Tom and Paula? It was crucial to the case. Yeah, All definitely. Right. Thanks very much, Kenneth. And you said it's going to the Supreme Court, possibly. Possibly. All right. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.